Hey everyone and welcome to another Crusader Kings 3 mining lesson on the Iron Workshop. In this lesson we'll learn how to create new titles in Crusader Kings 3. Now we'll be covering higher tier titles like Empires and Kingdoms. And it works the same way for creating counties and new baronies. Although if you want to create new baronies, it is possible that you will need to create new provinces, but that is not something that this lesson will cover. So with that said, let's roll the intro and get on with the lesson. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new mod. If you already have a mod in which you want to include your new title, then you can just skip this step and go directly to step number two, creating folder and file structures. For the rest of you, we'll open the Crusader Kings 3 launcher. We'll go to mod, mod tools, create mod, and we'll give our mod a name. So I will just call it the new titles mod. Obviously you can name it whatever you want. This is the version of my mod. And this is the folder in which the mod will be located. And one last thing is to assign a tag. So I'm just going to give it the gameplay tag, create mod. Our mod has been created and automatically activated by the game. We can close the launcher and proceed to step number two. In step number two, we'll be creating the folders and files that we need in order to create our new title. So what we need to do is to open the Crusader Kings 3 mod folder that's located in Documents, Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings 3 mod. And alongside that, we'll open the Vanilla Game folder as well, which is located in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Crusader Kings 3 game. All right, now let's uh, go into our mod folder. And the first folder that we're going to create here is the Common folder. This is a folder that we use quite a lot in our modding tutorials. And inside the common folder, you'll see that we have a folder called blended titles. So let's create that folder as well. And we'll copy the file from this folder to our mod. And after it's copied, I will rename it to new titles. And I'm doing that in order not to overwrite this file. Great, now let's go back to the common folder. And from the common folder, I also want to copy the code of arms folder, this one. So let's create that one as well. Inside of here, we have code of arms again. So let's create that folder. And in this folder, we'll copy the landed titles file and we'll just Put it in here and we'll also call it new titles excellent now let's go back to the root folder of our mod that's the first folder of our mod and in here i want to create another folder called gfx this folder will be used for the graphics of our coat of arms inside of the gfx folder we have the coat of arms folder as well so we'll create that one as well and these are all the files and folders that we will need for now to create our coat of arms. Now let's go back to the root folder of our mod and the game folder in Crusader Kings 3. And we will create the localization folder inside of our mod folder. And obviously this folder will contain all the localization files for our new title. So let's open that one. We'll go to English. If your language is different, then obviously you will need to create a folder for your own language. And from here, I want to copy the titles file. Here it is. I'll just copy it over. Like, and I will rename this file to new titles. But I also need to keep the L English suffix in order for the game to recognize this file properly. So I'll add underscore L underscore English, just like that. All right, so we'll go back to our new titles mod. We'll go back into the game folder 
And these are all the folders that we will need in order to create our new title. Excellent. We're done. We can now proceed to step number three, creating our title entry. In step number three, we'll be creating the entry for our title. For the purpose of this lesson, I want to elevate the Kingdom of Ireland to an empire. So we'll be creating, first of all, the Empire of Ireland. Let's see how we can do that. So first, let's open our mod folder. We'll go to common, land the titles and open the new titles file. In this file, we'll need to locate the Kingdom of Ireland entry since there is no Empire of Ireland title in the game yet. So we'll search for Ireland. To do that, just press Ctrl plus F on your keyboard. That will bring up the find window. And in here, we'll search for K underscore Ireland. Now K stands for Kingdom, and if we take a closer look at this entry here, you'll see that it has its colors. There is the capital, so the capital of the Kingdom of Ireland is the county of Dublin. And the county of Dublin is actually included inside of here. You see that we have it in here, and it's part of the Duchy of Mieff. Now the problem with creating the Empire of Ireland is that the title of Kingdom of Ireland is part is already part of the Empire of Britannia. So I will need to take out the Kingdom of Ireland from the Empire of Britannia and then just assign it to a new empire. So to do that we will need to copy this whole entry for the Kingdom of Ireland from its starting bracket to its closing bracket. Now you can locate the closing bracket by pressing Ctrl plus B on your keyboard and it will take you to the closing bracket. Now that is quite a lot to copy and you can actually do it by holding shift and, and just dragging endlessly, but I would not recommend it since there is some margin for error there. So what I actually recommend you to do, let's press Ctrl plus B again to go to the opening bracket of the Kingdom of Ireland. What you can do is use another shortcut in Notepad++, which is Ctrl plus Alt plus B. And what this does, it actually selects all of the information between that opening bracket and this here closing bracket, so that I don't actually need to scroll and select it manually. So once you have that selected, you can right click, copy, create a new file, just like this, and then press Ctrl plus V to paste it. So what we have in here now is the entry for the Kingdom of Ireland, but due to the way of how that shortcut works, it actually did not copy the Kingdom of Ireland entry, so we will need to fix that. So let's again press Ctrl plus B. We'll copy the Kingdom of Ireland from here. We'll just put it in here equals, just like that, so that, that it matches the way that it is in here. And now we have the Kingdom of Ireland in a separate file. Excellent. The next step is to remove it from this file here, because obviously we don't want it to be part of the Empire of Britannia, but to be a part of its own empire. So again, I'm going to select everything in the Kingdom of Ireland by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus B. I'm going to delete it. And of course, I'm going to delete this entry in here. And now the Kingdom of Ireland is no longer the jure part of the Empire of Britannia. Excellent. But using the Empire of Britannia, I can actually use it as a template to create my new empire. So let's go ahead and find it. So we'll search for E Britannia and that is the entry for it. So I'm just going to copy all this information regarding the Empire of Britannia and I'm going to select all of this here until the first kingdom entry. Copy. I'm going to put it in my new file above the Kingdom of Ireland entry like this. And of course I will need to close this opening bracket here. Currently you see that it's red. That means that it's not closing properly. 
So I'll go to the end of the file and I'll add another closing bracket in here. And now if I scroll up, you see that it closes properly. Now, of course, I need to change this entry here since we don't want to override the Empire of Britannia. We want to create a new empire. So we'll just call it E Ireland. So that stands for the Empire of Ireland. Now you can play around with the colors. If you want to have a unique color for the Empire of Ireland, you can just open a graphic editing program like paint.net and using this color wheel in here, you can select a color for your new title. And by pressing more, you will see the RGB values in here and we can just copy them over. So let's go ahead and do that. I will change the color to 135, 255 and 147. Okay, now the color is the main color on the map. I'm actually not sure what color 2 is meant for. It's possible that maybe it's used by soldiers or troops of that rank, of that title. If you know what color 2 is for, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to know and let everybody else know. Now, another thing that we need to change in here is the capital. So currently the capital of our Empire of Ireland is Middle Essex, which really doesn't make sense. I want it to be the county of I want it to be the county of Dublin. So I'll just type C underscore C underscore Dublin. Now obviously you can use this method to cram more kingdoms into your empire, but we'll just keep it simple for now. This is the capital and I don't really want to change any of these things. You can experiment with them, you can play around with it and change them and see how they affect your empire. So now what we need to do is to incorporate our new Empire of Ireland into our new titles file. One thing to watch for is that we still need to override the Empire of Britannia so that the game knows that the Kingdom of Ireland is no longer part of that empire, but that it's part of the Empire of Ireland. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. I'm going to keep my Empire of Britannia entry in which we removed the Kingdom of Ireland from. And I'll just copy my new empire in here above the Empire of Britannia. Now what I'm going to do is to select both of them, both of these empires. I'll copy them. Press Ctrl plus A on my keyboard, delete and Ctrl plus V to paste. So now we have the Empire of Britannia and the Empire of Ireland both in the game and the game knows that the two are now two separate empires and that the titles inside of them like the Kingdom of Ireland is no longer part of the Empire of Britannia. Alright, so our title has now been created in the game and we can actually go into the game and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to minimize this minimize this. Let's go into the game and see what we've got. All right, so I'm running my game in debug mode and you should probably run your game in debug mode since there are some things that we will be requiring during this lesson that we can only get in debug mode. And if we take a look at our empire map, map mode, you will see that now we have the empire of Britannia separately and another empire of E Ireland in here. Now obviously we need to fix the localization and you will notice that the game has already assigned a coat of arms for it. Now this coat of arms is completely random and we can actually change this in the next steps of this lesson but our title is now actually functional in the game and a character can create it, can claim it and can use this title. So now let's go ahead to step number four and create our new title coat of arms. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you probably already know that I have a separate tutorial on creating coat of arms. So I won't be going into that much detail on creating your new coat of arms. If you really want to know every bit of how to do that, 
just go ahead and watch that video. I'll have a link to that in the upper corner of the screen. But let's take a look at how we can create a custom coat of arms for our title. So let's open our mod folder. And in here, we'll go to the root folder, the first folder of our mod, and we'll go to common, coat of arms, coat of arms, new titles. And in here, we have all the coat of arms for all the titles in the game. Now, the cool thing about coat of arms in Crusader Kings 3 is that they are modular. And you can actually create a coat of arms quite easily by combining different elements from different coat of arms. But uh, I will not be doing anything complex uh, in this lesson. We'll just assign a coat of arms like we want it to look and just see if it works in the game. I'll just take a random one from here, for example, this one, and I'll just copy this entry. I'll press Ctrl plus A delete everything else, put it in here, and I'll change its ID to E Ireland. And that tells the game that if it wants to locate the coat of arms for the E Ireland Empire title, it needs to search for it right here in this file called new titles. Now in here you can use a pattern to put a certain pattern in your coat of arms and you can actually see the list of all the patterns in the original game folder if you go to Crusader Kings 3 game GFX coat of arms you can see the various patterns that you have in here and it's actually very simple you just need to take the name of the file in here for example we can take this one and just copy its name and put it in here like that and then it will use this pattern for your coat of arms. Obviously, don't forget to put in the extension of the file as well, which is .dds. Next, we have some colors that we can give to our new title coat of arms. You can see the list of the various colors in the original file, and you can just pick from that. I will just give it green and yellow, just like that, doesn't really matter. You can play around with it as much as you want. And in here we have a colored emblem. So if we take a look again at this folder in Code of Arms, you see that you have something called colored emblems. And these are the various emblems that you can put in your Coat of Arms. You can actually create new ones. And this is something that I am going into in the full tutorial on creating Coat of Arms. So check that out if you want to know how to create new ones. But let's just, for the sake of example, choose this one, CE Orb, and I can just put it in here. And I can actually overlay some colors over it, like yellow and another color. In this case, I'll just change it to green. This should be a very interesting result. And that's it. Our coat of arms is now ready to be used in the game. All we need to do is to restart the game and take a look at the new coat of arms. All right, so as you can see, we have created our coat of arms. It looks a bit weird, but that is not really the purpose of this lesson. You can play around with it and come up with a cool coat of arms of your own. This is just meant to show you how you can do that. All right, so now that we understand how to create a coat of arms, let's proceed to step number four. Let's proceed to step number five, creating our title localization, since obviously we don't want it to be called E-Ireland. Okay, so creating localization is probably the easier part of this lesson. Let's open our mod folder. In here we'll go to localization, English, new titles, L English. And in here we'll just need to put in the new name of our title. Now, you can actually have different names for different cultures. So if a different culture is holding your title, then you can see, then you can just assign it a new name. This is something that is decided in here. As you can see, we have cultural name. So if a Gallic culture character is holding it, then it will be called this. If it's an Irish character, then it's this. If it's Pictish, it's this and so on and so on and we can create entries for each of these. For now, let's create the first entry for E-Ireland. 
So the best way to do it is to just take one entry, copy it, get rid of the other stuff except for the L English because you actually need to keep that for the game to know that this is the English file where it's supposed to search for the localization. Let's scroll all the way down, remove everything else and just put it in here like that. And in here, obviously I'm going to put the ID of my new title, E Ireland. So let's go ahead, do that. And let's go ahead and call it something like the Emerald, Emerald Empire. Excellent. So now the game knows to call the E Ireland Empire title, the Emerald Empire, unless it's being held by a character of a different culture like this in here. If you don't want to change the name of your empire, depending on culture, you can just remove this whole entry and that will not take effect in the game. So let's go ahead and save it, go again into the game and see if it works. All right, as you can see, we now have the Emerald Empire al alongside Britannia. And that is all you need to know about creating new titles in the game. One thing that I do want to mention about creating lower tier titles, and that is something that you can learn just by looking at the file. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. First of all, we have our empire title and right up below it, we have the kingdom title, which is the lower title. Each title has its capital set. So in this case, it's also Dublin. It has its colors. You can actually create some conditions for when the title can be created. Next, there are some indications of when the AI should use this title as its primary title. And again, just by looking at it and experimenting with it and changing it, you can change it as well. Next, we have the Duchy of Mieth, which is part of the Kingdom of Ireland. And one thing that's different in here, because it's a duchy, duchies have baronies. And each barony has a province assigned to it. You can actually find the province by hovering over it in the game. You see that in here it says ID 21. So this is the ID of this province. Of this here province. It's a bit hard to see due to the color, but there is a province in here that goes like this. And this is its ID. And this is the ID that you need to put in here in order to let the game know which baronies control which provinces. So you can actually create new baronies, you can create new duchies, and you can create new counties as well. It's all pretty straightforward and it is possible that things may go wrong if you don't separate your titles from one another because if you create a new county which is a part of another duchy and you did not remove the information of that county from its original duchy, then things might not work out. So make sure to separate the titles from their original owners and then everything will work out. All right, so that's all there is to creating new titles in Crusader Kings 3. If you found this video helpful, please give a like and leave a comment just to bump up the video in the algorithm and let others see this video as well so that it can help them as well. If you have some issues and something did not work out, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. For those of you who are rushing to create your new titles, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video, lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye bye. Welcome to the extra syntax portion of this video. And the first thing that I want to take a look at is how we can assign our new title to a character in the game. So that when I start the game, my character already holds that title. So in our case, we have our Empire of Ireland and I want to give it to a character at the start of the game. So to do that, we'll need to copy some new files into the game. Let's open the original game folder. We'll go to game. In here, we'll need the history folder. So let's go ahead and create it in our mod. 
and from this folder we have another folder called titles so let's go ahead and create that and from here we'll need one of these files now for the sake of similarity I'll take the Ireland file although it doesn't actually have to be that file but let's go ahead and grab that file and copy it into our mod and I'll change it from K Ireland to E Ireland just so that we don't overwrite anything else in the game and now let's go ahead and open this file so in here we have all the titles for Ireland and who holds these titles so the holder equals is the ID of the character that's holding this title in this date so let's go ahead and change this file a little bit so I will change this to Empire of Ireland I will copy this whole thing I will press Ctrl plus A, we'll remove everything else just so that we don't overwrite other holders of other areas in Ireland. And in here, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to assign my character as the holder of the Empire of Ireland. So let's just open the game and let's say that I want this character, currently the Petty King Murchad of Münster to be the holder of the Empire of Ireland. So I will need the ID of this character. And if I hover over his portrait, you see that in here I have something called historical ID. And it's 8335. So this is the ID that I need. And the year is 1066. So let's just assign him to be the holder somewhere in here. So to do that, I'm just going to put his ID in here, 83355. And I'm just going to remove everything else. We don't actually need that in here. We'll just keep it like that and save it. And now the game knows that the title of the Empire of Ireland in this date is held by this character. Now, obviously, if you have other bookmarks that you want to have this title be held by another character, you will need to change the character to fit that bookmark. Now, let's go into the game and see if this change has taken place. So I'm just going to close the game and reopen it again. OK, so we can now see that the Emerald Empire has appeared on the map at the start of the game. And now this character is now an emperor. So this is how you can assign a character in the game the title that you created in order for it to be playable at the start of the game. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. The algorithm and me will be very happy. Here are more videos I make. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing to be notified when new content is available. The Iron Workshop lives and thrives thanks to the continued support of my Patreons. If you are willing and able, you can support me on Patreon for just one buck and get access to exclusive and early content. See you around.